Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Future Villains Podcast number... Number? Shut up. It's, it's a number. <laughs> it's, it's on there. I can look it up, but I'm not going to. That's all right. It's a number. Mm-hmm. He, the other guy said it just now, if you were uh, listening. Yeah. Our Go producer. Listen, enhance. Enhance. <laughs> and enhance, that's right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was just telling you a story. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just talking about Taco Bell. Okay, well, also, actually, let's start this by saying not sponsored by Taco Bell. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian and Brian Man Peacock. And you need to speak up. What? You're really good over there. <laughs> I need to not show you the sound waves. <laughs> so we were just talking about Taco Bell, and you, you were, I forgot to put in the Xbox code. Oh, I always put those Xbox codes. You're just complaining because you got an old box. I just realized that's why I forgot. Because I, old boxes. Yeah, what the heck? But um, I was just starting to tell you that I nearly ripped a girl's arm off at Taco Bell. Yeah, why would you do that? Are you a Wookie? <laughs> no, she's stupid. <laughs> well, so what happened was I paid, gave her my card, me the card back. She gave me the food. As as normal. As I press on the gas to pull away, she sticks her arm out the window and into my window and says, Whoa, 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 whoa. I could have, if I would have really pressed on the gas. Yeah. Okay, you agree. I could have done some se- severe damage. <laughs> yeah, why was she trying to hold your car back? Because the, the card machine timed out. And she said your card got declined. Which, of course, I freaked out. Right. I just got I just got paid. I know there's money in my bank account. It's right. cleared and all that stuff. So it's like, what? And now I'm like, and there's so many people behind me. Right. Now I'm like talking to her through just a slit. Yeah. <laughs> and I have seen people, because I've worked fast food for a long time, I've seen people just haul ass off of there. Yeah. You're one of those people. You would have you would have got your food yeah. for free. You would have got your card back. And you would have had an arm. Yeah, felt smart. Free, free <laughs> Halloween decoration. Oh, God. Yeah, that just scared the hell out of me. And she was like, oh, your card got declined. Then it turned out, oh, no, it got t- it timed out. And like, that means your machine screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, okay, difference. well, I need your card back. And I was seriously thinking about, like, lady, you just scared the crap out of me. I'm like, oh, no, thanks. Oh, I can't find it. Let me yeah, go right. get it. I, I like, left it at home. And I tell her, I'm like, should I come inside? She's like, no, it's fine. So, you know, I break my own arm to reach yeah. behind me to hand her the card. And she tries two more times. And she's like, okay, I went through and hands it back. And I leave. Oh, jeez. But why? Like, it's not like it was going to come out of her paycheck. Like, I don't uh, know. Could have. Oh, well, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about that also later. Oh, okay. People, things coming out of your paycheck in restaurants and whatnot. Okay. So, I don't know. That, I guess we just figured we'd start off with that. St- start sometime. Some point, <laughs> yes. Um, so, what have you been up to lately? You can start. You had a big weekend. Yeah. Well, besides that, I've been gearing up for Halloween, Little One's birthday party. Do you have any pictures of the little stick men you made? The bow truckles? Well, yeah, the burker. Yes. You need. I need to get the. You, you need to get me those pictures so I can put them on the website. Uh, we'll take those a lot more cool. tonight. Okay. Because okay. I made Dementors and some other things. Um, also, gearing up for a Harry Potter party that I will be throwing in the November, December, sometime. Right. Because my Octobers are always super full. I'll be going as a Muggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just to piss Brian off. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that would be a good opportunity for us to get some vlog footage, too, by the way. I was yeah, about that, earlier. that will be good. I didn't really do any over the weekend, because it was kind of a low-key kind of trip. Right. We did get some stuff. I mean, Kim went on the slingshot. But back cool. to your trip. I'll talk my, about mine in a minute. Uh, I thought about taking some video, too, of my weekend, because uh, we went down to Wesley Chapel. Which, I don't know, like two hours away. Every time I talk to you, the town changes. <laughs> <laughs> First it was Tampa, then it was Wiregrass. <laughs> well, the shop's in Wiregrass, okay. which is in Wesley Chapel. Okay. Which is Is Wiregrass Tampa. the name of the thing? I think it's the name of, like, the area. Okay. I think. I get that. I was just in Orlando. Right, yeah. 
I think it's in the it's in Wesley Chapel. And it's like a it's kind of a mall, but okay. it's it's just a bunch of shops on like sectioned off streets. Sounds cool. It is really cool. It's super, super nice. And I was there last Christmas time and it was amazing. I mean they've got Christmas lights, that Santa and everything. And now, you know, it was still super nice. Uh, Christmas lights still up because it's kind of what they do at night. We were leaving when all the lights were on because we went and had dinner at Red Robin. First time there. That was pretty awesome. You said that was pretty good. Yeah, it was really good. I'm so glad we have one closer to us now. Yeah, we need to go We need to go to Geek Out soon and yeah. go to Red Robin. That needs to be a weekend coming up. We should do that tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while I'm working. Yeah, no, after work. I'm not after. working. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I, have, I have so much to do. I did not work a whole lot on Friday. That's another thing I can talk about why I'm not working. <laughs> There's that, too. Um, Wiregrass was cool. We went, I had to return something to Hot Topic. That was a sorry deal. Just um, Hot Topic in general, I'm sorry. Well, now they have uh, New Japan stuff. Bullet Club stuff, which we'll talk about on the future Heels podcast. Right. Uh, so that was cool. They had a little couple Harry Potter things, some Rick and Morty things. I do want to ask, club things, or was it just in the store? Uh, just in the store. Okay. Um, like the wallet t-shirts, I mean, they were up there. I mean, they were just in with all the other wrestling shirts. That's which I thought cool. was interesting, because it was like, uh, like you had like your WWE shirts right next to your New Japan shirts. Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure the Bucks love that. Yeah. <laughs> like the Young Bucks shirt, I think, was right above the NXT shirt. Is there a cease and desist shirt next to the WWE shirts? I don't think they've made it out that far yet. That'd be funny as shit. That would be hilarious. <laughs> if you want to know why that's funny as hell, listen to the Future Heels podcast. Yes. Um, you know, some patches, some stickers. I got a Marty Squirrel sticker. That's cool. Um, yeah, we had to return some stuff from some other stores. Online shopping. I went to my favorite store, Rocket Fizz, which has like hundreds of different types of soda. That sounds awesome. Which is exciting because I don't drink alcohol, so the opportunity to drink something different is right. always exciting for me. Uh, I got a Always Ask for Avery's soda called Bug Barf. Uh, it's a, I think it was a kiwi and pineapple soda. It was pretty good. If we get a little louder, it's because I'm adjusting the microphone. There we go. There, that's much more comfortable now. Yeah. Now sit back on the couch and... We don't have to lean towards the mic. Yeah. Which I don't do anyway. I was like that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm much louder than you in all aspects of life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I would like, God, I want to go to this Rocket Fizz place. It's cool. And they have a bunch of candy. Like, you fill a bag of candy for, like, six bucks. That's awesome. Like, all kinds. Um, and, like, little weird gifts. Yeah. Which kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Like, little, uh, I don't know, like gag gifts kind of thing and then uh tens uh ten signs right and like that's all they sell pretty interesting so what flavor is bug barf it was uh kiwi and pineapple okay you said that didn't you yeah <laughs> but just Sorry. some of the other flavors like there was uh there's a couple jimmy hendrix sodas there was uh hey joe root beer and purple haze which i'm pretty sure was a grape soda yeah um, they have tons of different root beers and orange sodas. Yeah. And, uh, like cream sodas, because I think those are... I know Achievement Hunter got a bunch of, like, blood soda, dirt soda, and stuff like that. Mm, okay. And they were, like, freaked out to try it, and one of them tried it, I think the blood one. He was like, a strawberry soda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I think dirt was something weird. That's possible. One of them they drank was like, oh, that's not normal. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot that aren't normal, too. Kiwi pineapple. That sounds good, though. It was pretty good. That sounds really good. Uh, there was one. It was a um, super fancy bottle, too. Uh, it was chocolate and peanut butter. I almost got. Because, like, a lot of them are kind of jokey and look that like... sounds terrible. It looks like they just did it because they could. This one, it looks like it was finely crafted to be a decadent chocolate and peanut butter soda. 
Oh, that sounds so gross. But I still didn't do it because it still sounds gross. Oh my god! That, yeah. But it gets worse. Okay. But it also gets better because there was one that was a uh, birthday cake soda. It gets worse before it gets better. I was gonna get the birthday cake soda because I, I love birthday cake like ice cream and stuff. But then ne- right next to the birthday cake was a uh, pickle soda. No. 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 Dill pickle soda. No. Don't do that. Well, then you're really sweet corn. I tried that sweet corn soda. <laughs> I would try it <laughs> just because everything is fructose corn syrup. <laughs> That's it. They just made fructose corn syrup in a bottle. That's all. It is. <laughs> You're a dumbass for buying this. <laughs> and uh, just tons of flavors of all different brands. And there was one. It looked. It was a. Um, I think it was just a, like, a, either a black cherry or, you know, standard cherry soda. Right. But it had, like, a wax seal top on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, it looked like they put some work into it. It was, like, ten bucks for that bottle. One bottle? Yeah. Like, it looked like that was some fancy stuff. Oh, hell no. I, I was thinking these are, like, a dollar. All the other ones are, like, two dollars and, like, 35 cents or something. Yikes. Yeah, but it, it's fun. It's fun to go there. And we went to, uh, you know, Barnes and Nobles, some of the other stores. They have uh, dinner at Red Robin. But the best part of our trip yesterday, and the whole reason we even went that direction, was there's a place in Zephyr Hills. And if you're near or can get to Zephyr Hills, Florida, I definitely suggest stopping into the Mad Dragon Studio. Okay, and what was that? It's, um... Well, it's a house that they've turned into a business. And it's kind of, it's off of, like, the main street. Like, one street off. Already sounds shady. Uh, well, there's a lot of, <laughs> like, buildings that have been turned into businesses. We see that a lot around here. Like Yeah, that's true. Like, historical areas. It's like a Victorian Especially house. on Main Street. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, there, we get, I don't know if it's, I wonder if it's like that in other countries. Or not countries, but cities. Yeah. Ebor, a lot of Ebor is like that. Oh, okay. A lot of those buildings are bars that you things and... Oh, I mean, especially, like, houses. Like, there's, um, someone's house. There's an episode of The Prophet, and it's a place in Florida. I can't remember where in Florida. I want to say it's, like, Jacksonville or something. They bought an old house and turned it into, basically, Willy Wonka's factory. Oh, it's that's It's pretty cool. freaking cool. Well, speaking of factories and stuff, uh, you were just in Orlando. Yeah. Have, do you know about the uh, Chocolate Emporium? Chocolate Kingdom? No. Okay, we were across the street from Chocolate Kingdom. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, we didn't do that. Is, that. It was 10 bucks we should have. Uh, 10 bucks for what? Uh, don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just thought there was a group on. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it's Something's Chocolate Emporium. Oh, wait a minute. Are you, we were there the week it opened oh. for Let's Play Live. Oh, okay. Or it was right around the time that it opened. Yeah, it's been and open for a little bit. The line was to oh, yeah. to uh, to Hard Rock Live. Yeah, it's always got a super long line. I I would never stand in line for food. Yeah, not that long a line at least. Yeah, and we the, ate at Hard Rock, which was incredible. I'm sure, but I I know the stuff there is crazy expensive. Yeah, the stuff at Hard Rock was crazy expensive too. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of where you're at. Yeah, and what just yeah. But I would also. Go into it expecting it to be expensive and pay for it and enjoy it. Right. Exactly. I'm sure food's incredible. Uh, a lot of, because it's all steampunk. So a yeah. lot of the steampunk groups are in Florida, they like to meet up there sometimes. Right. Um, we but, should have gone because we went at kind of a random time. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We talked about going to Disney Springs, but we didn't go. We just kind of hung around. I, I don't think, I've, I know I haven't been there since I changed it to Disney Springs. Me neither. That's why we wanted to go, but we just... Didn't. Yeah, they just there, didn't. There's other things to do. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so in Zephyr Hills, off the main street, it's an old, older Victorian house um, that they converted into a store. Sort of. It's the Mad Dragon Studio. So it's like part art studio, part store, part... I don't want to say venue, but kind of a venue... Right. Like, you do parties. You can just go and hang out there. Um, 
But you, you go up the stairs. I thought there was a dragon outside from what I read before, but there isn't. But there is a sign. Um, you go up, you go through the uh, front door. There's a little... Uh, the first room you walk into, uh, you see stairs that go up to the second floor. And uh, they have a pretty funny sign right there. It says, I wish to remind you that the second floor and stairs are off limits to anyone who does not wish to die a very painful death. Damn. Which is from Harry Potter. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, um... I feel like she could get in legal trouble over that. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but that room was cool. She has, uh, it's most of everything in here is handmade, um... She has flying keys, wands, handmade wands, um, all unique, quills, really cool. Uh, they were quills with black feathers, and all of them have like ink pens inside of them, basically, so you don't have to dip them in calligraphy tips and all that. Uh, she had black ones, and they said mischief managed on the feather. Those oh. were pretty cool. I almost bought one of those. Um, and skulls on little stands and all kinds of really cool interesting things then you go into the uh little second room there and there's more things for sale um uh pet pygmy puffs you can adopt it's like i think it was like 15 dollars for a pygmy puff that's from harry potter yeah i don't remember that uh it's like for a minute a little puffy it's like a little puffy pink ball okay um it's all the things in the background that people pick up on. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Harry Potter fans understood what I meant. But then the really, there was one really cool thing. Fuck you, I'm a Harry Potter fan. But you don't know what a pygmy puff is? I guess not. Um, and then she had some, like, like you can get a, a, it was an official Hedwig owl. Um, she had some house ties in the other room, too. Robes. Uh, you know, basically anything Harry Potter you wanted was... In this store. That's cool. Um, But the cool thing was there was a door that was open. And let me see if I can find the picture of it to read it. You know exactly what it says. Um, Yep. There was a door that was open and it says the cupboard under the stairs. And that's under the stairs in the shop. It's the cupboard under the stairs and it's made up to look like Harry's. There's like a little, it's like a little tiny bed. Uh, the Harry Potter books are in there. And the uh, army man he has. Uh, and like a little cup and some Christmas oh. lights in there. That's where she lives. Yeah. <laughs> a couple, there's some steampunk looking th- things. Uh, like top hats and stuff. Did you take a bunch of pictures? Yeah, I'm going through oh, them okay. right now. That's, that's how I remember what's, what everything was. Um, some essential oils also. Of course. Um, some antique books. Uh, there's a picture of some more wands and there were uh, student wands which uh, I think were 25 Um, and then there were I forget what you call them but more advanced wands that were 35 I think she has a cheaper version as well I'm not 100% sure Um, you know robes ties, quills, t-shirts oh yeah, candles, that would be cool. all kinds of stuff. What kind of a thing to hold her D and D dice? It's like a cool little box. I don't know if you can see it well in this picture. It's just I already. It's right there. It's got the eye in it. It's just a cool little dice box. That's, I need a dice box. And you see, in the dragon head on the wall. Yeah. Uh, and the that's the first room you walk into. And the second and the cool thing about the second room was that's where the kitchen area that goes into the kitchen, which is kind of where it's blocked off. And that's where the cash register is. And uh, you can get your butterbeer there. She has the flying, I think it's called the Flying Cauldron Butterbeer. It's right. made by uh, that's Hanks. That's the stuff we had? Yeah. Okay. It's the stuff I bought two Probably cases. Probably Hanks, yeah. It is, it's Hanks. And uh, yeah, the stuff I bought two cases of, mm-hmm. which I need to get my hands on at least a case for our party I'm going to be doing. Um you're going to have some serious Harry Potter fans there. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be fun. But the other cool thing 
uh, besides getting your your butter beer, and they, she sells them by the case or by the little four back, or you can get a cold one from the fridge, or you can get a butter beer float, which is what I did. <laughs> so they put butter beer in a mug, and you get to keep the mug. It's a big giant glass mug, and uh, they put ice cream in it, and it's pretty awesome. It seems like it'd be too sweet. No. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Huh. Um, my fiance thought it was a little too sweet after like drinking half of it, but <laughs> but you gotta make sure. Yeah, <laughs> and you get to keep this giant glass mug. This is cool. Pretty awesome. And then if you keep going back, there's the common room, and there we walked it back there, and I I noticed there was like like personal items of people back there, like people's purses and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. And then a fiance pointed out that she goes, I think they're having a birthday party. I'm like, oh, oh that's right, because they do parties there. And I look down in the, the middle of the room, there's a table. Daughter, happy birthday huh. cake. And there's a bunch of pieces missing. I'm like, oh, I think they are having a party in here. And then as we're scurrying out, we usually, I know you can go in there and hang out usually. Yeah. And like, sometimes they do like rock paintings, because that's a thing now. And uh, rock painting? Mm-hmm. Is that a Harry Potter thing? No, it's just a thing. That, oh, yeah. like your mom does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. people paint rocks and hide them now. Yeah, no, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And they do that. Sometimes they do like arts and crafts for kids and stuff. There's a place to like when you get your butter beer, you can go in there and hang out. Right. Um, but as we're scurrying out to the rest of the, the shop, I noticed that often one of the side rooms they were in there, and I could hear what they were doing. I didn't really see. But I can tell they were making wands. Really? Yeah, I heard her. I heard the lady who I believe owns it and makes everything. I can hear her explaining what to do, and I'm pretty sure they were making wands. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to do a party there. It's a little pricier than I think we could do right now, unless we got a lot of people who really wanted to do it. Yeah, it's possible. Because I think it's like twenty five dollars, but it's only for an hour. Leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in that. Yeah, comment down below. Maybe we can have a future villains meet up at in Zephyr Hills. Leave a comment down below. I'm pointing up. down below and no one can see it. We have a meet up every weekend at your house. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> yeah, you're not invited to that though. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and the life size Dobby. That's weird. What? How is that creepy? He's a house elf. Oh, let me find the picture. I'll it's like, it. Harry Potter is like the only thing that's made elves look creepy. Like a paper mache Dobby? Yeah. Okay. Like everything in there is handmade. It's pretty cool, though. And there, there's the front of the store. That's cool. We'll put we'll put some of these pictures up, I'm sure. Are they on your Instagram? Uh, They will be. There you go. What's well, your Instagram? I'll put them on my Instagram, which is, you can find me, uh, at Brianman1138. And that was my, my weekend. Uh, that got me really excited for the Harry Potter party. Yeah? Time. Give you some ideas? Oh, yeah. Tons of ideas. Uh, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. And I did a lot of work, too. I made Dementors. I made that wand stand you can kind of see from where we're sitting. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Uh... I have to make a lot more wand stands because I have a lot more wands. <laughs> uh, but once again, everyone who comes to the Harry Potter party is going to leave with at least a wand, if not a bunch more stuff. I'm also thinking about putting a pretty badass prize package together for whoever ends up scoring the most house points for their... Yeah, I joke about dressing up as a muggle, but most of them dressed up like I'm dressed right now anyways. Yeah, yeah. That's why Harry Potter costumes are easy. <laughs> it just dresses yourself... More or less, yeah. It's like it's like the Halloween party. I give you shit. I might come with a shitty costume because I think that's funny. If, if it's a costume, it's a costume. <laughs> the but Harry Potter bad. costume is legitimately. I'm just like I'm just gonna wear a robe, and then I'm gonna take it off because I'm gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> well, there's other things you can dress up as, but I won't. <laughs> you, you can be an owl, but I won't. You can be Buckbeak. What is that? The hippogriff. I'm, 
I'm a person. I'm not dressing up as hippogriff. Why the hell don't you dress up as Hagrid? I don't have that big a beard. You can get one. But no, I can't. The not by November. Store. Because Spirit again, stores. I'm gonna be uncomfortable and take it off. Make one. Same same thing. Have Kim make you one. How would she you make a out. beard? I have seen them. Annoying. <laughs> you should be Hagrid. I, I would do Hagrid, but it, what is he? He wears like dirty, gross clothes. Yeah. I don't think I own any dirty, gross clothes. Make some. You would need a maroon <laughs> shirt and like some gray or black pants, and then like a vest with some pelts on it. You know how you make pelts? No. Stuffed animals. Okay. <laughs> learn that. Learn that pre larp actually. Um. Yeah, then long hair and a beard. You know, you know, you know. You know what? Maybe you could be ha- young Hagrid and an umbrella. You have to have an umbrella. Done. I got a magical book. <laughs> My costume's complete. Why don't she just come as an aura? Which is what I might do. I don't know what that means. Auras See, are. See, I like... think I'm a Harry Potter fan. Then you make me think otherwise. <laughs> oh, auras are like the uh, magical police. Oh, okay. So how would I dress up as an aura? You should, oh, you should come as Mad Eye Moody. Make me a Mad Eye, and I will. You know, over there, have you you have you seen the wand I have? Uh, I don't know. I have a Mad Eye Moody wand, like not his wand, but I have a wand with one of those eyes. At the I've end. seen that. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, fourth one down. Over right. Jump proud of. Yeah, no, I like Mad Eye Moody. Which I'm surprised no one left with that one last time, because all these are leftover wands over there. Okay. And actually, one of my, my favorite parts of Fantastic Beasts was Colin Farrell. Yeah. It makes me sad that he's actually Johnny Depp. Sorry. Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we should have sworn beforehand. But oh, boy. It's been out long enough. Yeah, sure. Um, it's your fault. <laughs> I also don't believe in spoilers, so whatever. Um, he, he might still be around, though. I hope so. Because he was legitimately awesome in that movie. I'd like to see what his actual character is. Yeah. This can't be too far off, because that would draw suspicion. Yeah? So, yeah, I kind of hope that he is just around and they find the actual... uh, I can't remember his character's name, though. I feel terrible. I can never remember anyone's names. (laughs) I'm having a hard time remembering things from new movies. Like, episode 7, I saw there was, like, a quiz on the back of the uh, cereal I was eating the other day. I did not know one of the answers. And I'm still not even sure how, how to pronounce it. What was it? What is the name of the planet that they find Luke Skywalker on? Tatooine? No, episode 7. At the end of episode 7. Oh! I don't know. Yeah, right? I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Did they, they barely mentioned it at all. If at, if at all. I don't think they ever said it. It was probably on the screen at some point. What's the name of the planet that uh, the bar was on? They put way less emphasis on the planets. Yeah, I do. I know that though. Like what I just was, can't think of it right now. What's that? What's what's her name? The Maz Kanata. Yeah. If I look that up, that'll tell me. Um, so, and that's a good segue to uh, to my weekend. Because I played the fuck out of Star Wars Battle Pod. That's pretty badass. Um, we'll get to that, though. <laughs> so we went to Orlando this week. Well, no. Let me take one step back. Kim was in Orlando. Uh, her work put her up at a hotel for classes. And I was supposed to work all week. Right. Well, come Tuesday, I was taking a break from work. And all of a sudden, I heard a loud pop. And I went, what the hell? Yeah, this was Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. My week is crazy. (laughs) Um, Heard a loud pop. And went, what the hell? Well, notice my computer was off. And uh, if you've watched our Hurricane Irma videos, or Hurricane Irma Let's Plays, or probably any Let's Play before that, You'll know that my favorite hashtag is hashtag fuck Asus. Because <laughs> my Asus desktop finally blew up. 
And so I spent a while talking to them, and I'm getting a new desktop from them. Thank God. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. They're doing that. Hopefully, yeah, it works whatever. It's one. been since February that I've been fighting with them. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, that's good, but it's like, yeah, I also had to fight tooth and nail to get it. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so since my computer blew up, they weren't gonna be able to help me for a while. Um, I still have to ship it tomorrow, and then they're gonna ship my new one. So I'm still gonna be out of work for a few days. I decided, well, what the hell? I'll just go to Orlando with Kim. And she was like, I'll come get you. She came and got me. We went back to Orlando. Did she get you on Tuesday? Yeah. Wow. What happened to my week? Can we help you? Can we help you? Oh, I'm not here to interrupt you. I just came for cheese. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, while you're at it, would you mind grabbing me a drink? Really? You're on the internet. Please be nice. Ah, uh, you're recording. I have to be nice? Yep. That's not fair. What do you want? Uh, can you give me a Diet Dr. Pepper, please? Can you give me a Diet Dr. Pepper, please? <laughs> Thank you. Say you're welcome. Are we, taking, are we taking a podcast break? I should have paused it. That's fine. Jess is here. Everyone say hi to Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the... Uh... Oh, what did you think of uh, Mad Dragon Studio? Oh, I really liked it. I thought that their uh, the handcrafted stuff was just amazing. It was so great. I couldn't I couldn't even believe that it was handmade. It, it co- totally could have been made in like a factory. No. So Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kim came and got me. We went up to her. Her, her resort hotel, which was absolutely incredible. Um, the arcade there was legit. I got to beat Time Crisis 4 again. Wait, which arcade was this, by the way? The, the arcade at the hotel. What? Yeah. This, arc- this was the first arcade we went to. Of three. First arcade had Time Crisis 4. Which I beat again, because God, I love that game. That's the one where you can switch to different weapons. Yeah. Like the pistol, shotgun, machine gun, grenade launcher. I um, played the one we have at the mall, whatever that is. At we have game. at the mall? Yeah. Currently? Yeah. Uh, did they get rid of it? I haven't been to the mall in years. No, it's, it's, I think it's still there. It's where? In the movie theater. Oh, I haven't been to the movie theater in years. I think it's still there. But yeah, this is the the one where you when you step off the pedal you can switch weapons. And there's the, the little scarab beetle things you have to shoot. Ooh, I don't know. I I think I I wanna say I played two. That's yeah. Here's your pudding. Thank you. What? Fork. <laughs> we don't Why have any clean spoons and I'm not washing one, so enjoy. Enjoy. You got forked. I did. You know, so, I couldn't say fork as a kid. Really? Yeah. Why? I said fuck. So all my my whole family was like, hey, say so you're going to fork them up. Wow. Yep. <laughs> that was my upbringing. <laughs> so the arcade had Time Crisis 4 and then a bunch of shit. <laughs> oh. But it was That's sucked. still pretty awesome, though. What sucked was, and I'm assuming this is... Maybe because... Are there rooms near the arcade? Oh. No. Sound? No, there wasn't. All the games were, like, turned all the way down. All the way down. Like, no sound? Like, Time Crisis 4 had some sound. Also, this was the smaller version of Time Crisis 4. Um, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, there's there different size ex- of all of them. I haven't got to experience a lot of arcades. <sighs> Man, okay, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Um, they also had this, some random ticket game that continuously scared the shit out of me. Because oh. the room is pretty quiet. Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, <laughs> just this <laughs> super loud, like, oh, come on down. But just scare the crap out of me every time. Because like I'm in this time? room, totally quiet, other than my click, 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 and the guy's talking to me in the game. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, just the loudest, creepiest laugh. (laughs) 
The um, only game without a volume control. Pretty much. Also, something I found pretty funny. They had a, of course, they had the obligatory basketball game. Right. Uh, it was called Street Hoops. No, Urban Hoops, I think. <laughs> One or the other. That's funny. Except the basketball move, the basketball hoop moves to the left and right. Hmm. <laughs> well, what the hell? Street basketball hoop moves to the left and right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is the opposite. I should be avoiding gunfire. <laughs> not how that works um but i'll go ahead and just go through my arcades now uh the second arcade we went to was david busters mm-hmm. we all got to go there this is the second so time bad. we've been i've never been um i paid 28 dollars and it got in a 20 dollar game card i also paid 10 dollars for the power hour card which let me play unlimited hour, unlimited games for 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. And that was most games. As long as the, the key card thing showed up blue, I could use that. Okay. If it showed up green, I had to use my $20 card. So that was, you know, I kind of t- went in between them. Right. And at this arcade was Time Crisis 5 Mastermind Edition. The only Time Crisis I have not beaten. Hmm. And I was so excited, and it was blue. I could play it an unlimited amount. That's pretty exciting. So I'm pl- I'm blasting through this game, and the neat thing about Time Crisis 5 is instead of a pedal taking you in and out of cover, you have two pedals that take you from left to right cover. So when guys are in front of you and you can't really get you know, a good shot on them, you can take a step to the left or right mm-hmm. and kind of get behind them and shoot them. Um... In this game, you're chasing down uh, a villain named Mad Dog, I believe. Right. Very much looked like Pagan Men from Far Cry 4. He has, like, kind of flamboyant pink shirt, kind of a weirdo. Hmm. Um, but it was so much fun. I got to stage four, I believe, out of five. or Maybe, no, maybe it was three out of five. And my card screwed up. Ah. And 20 seconds went by, and I got a game over. And I just could not bring myself to play the game for the rest of the time <laughs> I was there. But, God, I love that. I gotta, we gotta go back and me and you gotta beat Time Crisis 5. Okay. I can help. Maybe. <laughs> the game is so good. Uh, so, I didn't get to beat that, so I decided I'm gonna go beat Star Wars Battle Pod. Because mm-hmm. last time I was there, it was kind of like the featured game. Um, now it's, it's off to the side so it's like just a mainstay. It's not like the featured game anymore. Now the featured game was, uh, oh my god, the game I was just telling you about. Uh, Cruising USA. No, <laughs> the old game, uh, Space Invaders. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and we'll get to that in a second. But uh, Star Wars Battle Pod. Last time I beat Hoth, I beat um, Endor. I beat. Death Star, and I beat Vader's Revenge. This time, I got on, and... Oh, see, this is why I brought up the article. And there was a new level that I don't remember from last time. Uh, the planet Tokodana. Okay. Taco, Takodana? I don't know. I think it's Toko. Tokodana, Tekodana. Um, so I was like, oh, hell yeah! I played that twice. Failed both times. And decided, all right, I need to beat uh, Death Star 2, which is also extreme difficulty. And you play as the Millennium Falcon. And the cool thing about the Battle Pod is it's like a wraparound, almost curved screen. Mm-hmm. So when you, you can hit change view, and it'll actually pop up like a, a representation of the cockpit. So That's it looks awesome. like you're in a cockpit. And you actually like get in a pod and close the door and everything. Oh. Um... How comfortable is it? Comfortable enough. Okay. Like, I'm pretty tall, and I did have to sit kind of cross-legged. But once you get in there and once you start playing, you don't even notice. You, yeah. I, like, once I got situated, I was like, all right, I'm good. Um, and, and there's air that shoots at you. There's sound effects from all over the place. That's awesome. It is just incredible. Like, there's one the uh, Force Awakens level... Where you're following Poe for most of it. And he... I care what he says to you, but he's like, Gun it! And you have to... 
you have a, a forward and a backward forward fr- thrust and then backward to slow down. And then the other joystick is to shoot, and then you have a special. Uh-huh. And he tells you to thrust it, so you thrust forward underneath this big column that's falling down, and like air rushes from underneath your legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, man. It's so immersive. And so I, I played this level twice, failed. I, then I decided, okay, I'm going to play the other extreme difficulty. Takodana is on a medium difficulty. Mm-hmm. So I played Death Star 2, which is extreme. You play as Lando Calrissian and the Millennium Falcon. One thing I gotta ask you, did Lando not have gunners? I don't remember there being gunners. So if there are no gunners, because Han and, and Chewie didn't have gunners, we're assuming for most of their career, right? do those turrets just fire forward? Because they did in the game. Uh, that's a good question. I have to assume they do. I'd imagine so. Otherwise, they're, what, weaponless? Yeah, I would imagine they would have to. Yeah, because I, I, when I first started the level, I was like, hold the fuck up, I'm flying? Who's shooting? Am I also shooting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I played that level, and it's very cool. You, you know, fight around the Death Star. You protect Mon Calamari cruisers. Nice. And then you get the order from, uh, uh, oh my god, the... Is a trap guy. Admiral Akbar? Yes, Admiral Akbar, and he tells you you gotta go after the core. So you go. And the other thing about this game is it's not 100% on rails. You do have to dodge left and right, was up and ask down. That too. And oh my god, is it intense? Maybe that's what. Oh, could be. And then you have to lock onto the core, fire your missiles, then you have to do that shit again. <laughs> but this time, you have to do it fast forward because you have to hold the thrust the whole time. Right. And the air is, like, gusting, like, actually hitting you from all over the place. That's so cool. And it's the best. <laughs> Kim played it, apparently, for a minute and almost threw up. <laughs> I wonder how much it would be to buy one of those a lot. units. Like, a lot, a like lot. Like, how much are we talking? Look it up. <laughs> you have a computer in front of you. Um, so, I beat that, and I tried three more times to beat the Force Awakens level and could not do it. And it's on medium. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, I, I still gotta go back and beat that. I still gotta go back and beat Time Crisis 5. But uh, one nice thing about the Force Awakens level is, at one point, you're, you're, sh- you're fighting TIE Fighters most of the time. And uh, at one point, you take a, a sharp turn, and if you notice to the right, uh, Kylo Ren's shuttle is landing. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's just, and, I mean, the very beginning of the level is the X-Wings on the water. Oh. <laughs> it's just, it's too much fun. Are you looking it up? Star Wars Battle Pod? Yeah. Um, is this turned down? Yeah, it's muted. Okay. What is this? What? It's like a demo. Oh, okay, so it's just a video. Yeah, there's Hoth. There's the Death Star. Huh. Speeder bike. That's pretty That's cool. That's the one I did last time. Yeah, yeah there's the, the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it's not entirely on rails. That's kind of cool, too. I mean, I like games that are, but... I don't know. You need to change it to English from the looks of it. This is Japanese now. I don't know what you just did. <laughs> oh, there you go. Locations. So, there must not be that many locations. Uh, probably not. Spirit the Premium Edition? What does that mean? Oh, new flat screen was revealed in New York Comic Con. So they're getting rid of the paddle pod, the bleh, battle pod thing. Oh, David Buster is Hollywood. Okay. Huh. The other one's in Sanita Anna. <laughs> <laughs> A little Jeff Dumb joke. One of the premium edition is. Go down. Oh, nope. Oh. I know where one is. Closest, closest one to us. Is going to be that like David Buster's. I guarantee it. Is that your zip code? Yeah. Okay. Yep, there it is. Or Jacksonville. Good lord. Four in Florida. Five in Florida. Awesome. Good yeah, to know. Yeah, closest one in Orlando. They're all forever and a half away. And I'm assuming that's Hollywood, California. 
Oh, I'm sure. Hollywood, <laughs> I'm sure it's not Hollywood, Hollywood yeah. Florida. So the premium edition, what you experience from this location in the world. Oh, feel the craftsmanship of genuine leather, the rumble action of the pilot seat, and precision detailing. Imagine your name and limited edition number engraved. What? As you jump into the cockpit. Why would your name be engraved? <laughs> huh. I don't know. All right. Yeah, look up how much it is to buy one. I think I saw a thing about that. Um, Special, maybe? I think that's just... Yeah, hey, go back. Go back. I'll split it with you. <laughs> Put it in the garage. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so I'll feel the force of the ally as you enter battle. What? Oh, okay, so that's what the flat screen version is going to be. Cool. Okay, see stages? Yes. That's not on there. That the, the Force Awakens. So I'm not crazy. It was not on there initially. That's awesome. Right. Multiplayer mode. So maybe go back to news. Oh yeah, new stage ta taco Donna taco taco Donna. I don't know, it's tacos for Donna. <laughs> uh, private buyer site is now open. Boom! Let's oh, see how damn. many thousands of dollars this thing is. If it even loads, okay, there it goes. Dreams take flight. And that's the actual pod, right? Yes. That is so cool. Well, you know what? I bet you can't even buy one. You probably have to, like, contact Order them. It. Yeah. StarWarsBattlePod.com slash personal use. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just on. The thing with the video. Uh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> what? So what, are they selling you on it before you even are able to order it? I think if you're here to order it, you're sold. I think so. I don't know. Maybe this is... A, maybe this is... Yeah, this right. is the personal use. You just get to look at it. One thing I found pretty interesting about this was uh, something I don't think I've seen in the books and movies. What's that? Is the X wings like there is a when you're, their special is not a proton torpedo and the Taco Donna level, it's like a precision shot from each. Like oh. you, it like boom and like right. seeks, seeks four different enemies at once, which I believe is a thing in the books. Could I remember be. correctly. But I haven't seen on, like, movies or anything. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is just going to keep playing this thing. You can Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. Step into the cockpit of a starfighter and live out every fan's dream. Go down some more. Oh, First person cinematic excitement. How much is it? They don't want to tell you. Yeah, it's probably at the very bottom. Five epic vehicles, five if epic battlefields. They have passion and expertise. There's a making of video. I will be watching that later. Uh, yeah, there's a little more on. Uh, I think it was this one. Maybe just scroll. Standard edition. We die. The premium edition you can buy. The premium edition of Vader is badass. Oh my god. Uh, Tell us the cost. Want... I don't know why the cost. <laughs> we we cannot it. afford it. Wait, go down, go down. There's an order form. Yeah, go down. Okay, it weighs 825 pounds. Yeah, your car will handle that. Oh, there it is. What? That's not Whoa. that crazy expensive. It's expensive as fuck. But $35,000 is not crazy expensive. I wonder if I can get a loan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> shipping handling not included. Tax shipping and handling not included. So it's like buying a, a look, car. Look, they, the size differential thing is like they're comparing it next to a Stormtrooper. <laughs> Which I can appreciate. <laughs> oh, we need to take a trip to David Buster's just for this. Or we need $35,000. No, I don't need $35,000. I think I do. Right next to that, by the way, it's kind of sad. It's the same exact thing, same battle pod, to the T, 
controls, screen, everything for a jet fighter game. Which I'm sure and nobody plays. It. Nobody plays it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless somebody has some asshole has been in the battle pod for an hour, like me. Yeah. <laughs> um The other thing they had that we didn't play was a giant rock'em sock'em robot. That sounds cool. Like, yeah. how giant are these robots? Uh, eight foot, ten foot tall. Ooh, Ooh super tall. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, they had, uh, I already forgot the name. Space Invaders. Oh, yeah. I keep thinking Galactic Invaders for some reason. Oh, there was Galaga, though. There was a Galaga Game. Assault, but it wasn't, like, a big thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's also the shitty Galaga Assault Xbox game. Oh, okay. It's like... Not Galaga. They tried to take Galaga and make it all fancy and modern. Yeah. Yeah, but um, Space Invaders, they did the opposite. <laughs> yeah? Space Invaders is you sit in a little booth with two... Uh, you know the, the water guns they have at the fair? Yeah. Like, you have to shoot the target and hold it on the target? Yeah. It's basically the same design. It has okay. two triggers and everything. It does have um, vibration when you shoot. Mm-hmm. Not even vibration, just moving back and forth like a cannon. Oh, like recoil. Yes, recoil. Okay. Thank you. Um, but you have, I would say, a 10-foot tall screen in front of you. Oh, and man. And they are coming down from the very top. And they keep they start moving faster. And they don't <laughs> look anything, like, they don't look like anything new. They are the old space invaders. That's great. <laughs> Mega pixelated and everything. And, uh... It even looks kind of like um, like an LED board, like a like a light bright. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got cool. a little bit of a glow to them. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. That's awesome. And then like your guns, there's a red and a blue one. It's two players. Oh. And my. your your crosshair is moving on the screen, and you're shooting at these things, and the UFO is coming across, and then uh, the dudes from Aqua Teen Hunger Force show up. Oh, the Moon Knights. <laughs> I mean, kind of, because they're like giant space invaders. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the fucking Buddha Knights. <laughs> like, get out of here. And you shoot the Moon Knights, and they explode into smaller space invaders. Huh. And then you shoot them, and they explode into, like, normal-sized space invaders. <laughs> and then they start going faster, and oh, my God, that game's stressful. Sounds like it. It's so much fun. We also went to Magical Midway, which... Oh, oh so the other thing about Dave and Buster's was... A lot of the games there, it was neat and also kind of sad. A lot of them were mobile games. Like a giant touch screen for Fruit Ninja. Yeah. Or Candy Crush. Or Infinite Blade or all those types of... The, the, the Frogger one. Yeah. Crossy Road. Uh, they, they probably had Doodle Jump. They yes, they had Doodle Jump. Jump. Yeah, the only other arcade I've been to... Only arcade I've really ever been to... Um, it's the one down in Spring Hill, mm-hmm. and they had a giant doodle jump machine. Which, like... It's fun. Yeah. But... I mean, there was one machine I walked up to, and it was like Spider-Man. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then I realized, oh, it's a mobile game. I'm not playing it. Yeah. I, I mean, that's just how I am. I'm not playing that. Okay, do they have pinball machines? No. Oh, pinball machines gosh. are extremely expensive to maintain. Crushed. Yeah. You have to go to a pinball place. We need to go to one of the gamer bars because they have them. <gasps> yes. That was something me and Kim surprisingly didn't do. Well, I mean, we went to Dave and Buster's. I was going to say, that's not super surprising. <laughs> huh? It's not super surprising you guys didn't go to a gamer bar. Because we don't you, drink. Yeah. That was a big part <laughs> of the reason why we didn't go. Yeah, that's... Um, we wanted to go to Cloak and Blaster, but it was also like, that's kind of a thing we need more people for. Yeah. It's also out of the way. Okay, yeah. Cause it is kind of in a weird place from what I remember. Well, it's by the colleges and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not terrible for them. Um, we've already been to uh, Geek Easy. And then the rest of them were very much bars. Yeah, but we've never... We didn't go to the Geek Easy. Well, we, we yeah, to... we went to a comic shop. Yeah. But there was... Is it Geek Easy only open for shows, or is it open at night? It's open every night. Okay. I think it's open for lunch, too. It was also out of the way, though. Right. We, we very much stayed near our hotel. Yeah. Because there was yeah, plenty me. to do. Um, the next arcade we went to was Magical Midway. It's on International Drive. 
I strongly suggest checking this place out. It's kind of out of the way. Um, you said it was on iDrive? Yeah. It's right, like, it's right, there's an area of iDrive where there's just a clusterfuck of stores and restaurants, and it's like just one big plaza. Sounds like the whole thing. <laughs> well, a lot of it is big places with a lot of trees, a lot of, you know, like, fancy stuff. And then, like, the eye. This is, like, very a very, very compressed part of iDrive. Okay. Um, Probably a lot of tourist shops. Yes. Okay. And in the middle of all this clusterfuck is a pink building with go-kart tracks going all over it. <laughs> How have I not seen this? Is it's it like, no. But if you weren't paying attention, you could pass it very quickly. Huh. Okay. Uh, so we went in there, and the arcade had the game that I've been seeing all over the place and we've been avoiding, because I don't even know why, was The Walking Dead. Ah. And we played that. So what it is, it's you sit in a booth like the Jurassic Park game, and you have crossbows. Mm. And uh, you can't kill the zombies unless you shoot them in the head. Nice. <laughs> so you have eight crossbow bolts, and then you have to like kind of crank back on it to reload. Okay. And you're in the prison. And uh, it, it starts off with the whole, we thought we were safe. We weren't, or whatever. And, man, there's one point where... And you have to be rescuing survivors. Like, they'll be about to be getting eaten by a zombie. you got to pop that thing in the head. But hers didn't reload, so we were kind of handicapped by that. They ended up refunding us for that game. But, man, I really wish it would have worked. When we go to Dave & Buster's next, we got to play it. It was at Dave & Buster's. Okay. The game's great. It's better than the show. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like the show. I did. It's just, just the same shit over and over now. But that's for another show. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> catch up on this last season. You don't. They did. You really don't. Have you seen it though? I'll tell you what happens though. Things get good, and then things get bad, and then the season ends. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but ta-da! We're Walking Dead writer. <laughs> uh, fuck Rick. Uh, <laughs> that's again for another another show. Uh, we did. Oh, the other thing we did, David Buster's, was we played Mario Kart in the arcade. That's cool. It's fucking fantastic. I won every time. Nice. Because I'm Wario. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then at Magical Midway, we played Cruise and Blast. Did you ever play Cruise in the World as a kid? Yeah, it's just like the. Cruising! Yeah. Cruise in the World! Well, that game. Oh, I got it. Huh? <laughs> Not like that, I didn't. Oh my god, I love that game. Yeah, it's just like the generic ass racing game, right? You just pick your car and. It's not generic. Just race. I'm tearing you up a little. <laughs> it's my favorite racing game of all time. It's like. I don't know. I think not... I played Cruising USA, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Cruising the World was you picked from like cars that were. Uh, made by a certain manufacturer, but they weren't called that. <laughs> right. Um, but the cool thing about Cruise in the World was all the little side tracks you could take. Yeah. And, like, we're playing the game, and one of the things Cruise in the World is you can double tap gas, and you'll do a wheelie, no matter what vehicle you're in. <laughs> right, yeah. <Surprise. laughs> and if you're coming up on a ramp, you'll do backflips. And if you're coming up on a person, you can ramp off them and do backflips. <laughs> 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 so we're playing, uh. and I'm like... Oh, wait, can I still? And I thunk, thunk on the gas, and sure as shit. <laughs> um, I even took a video, because that's the game me and my brother played so much as kids. And I was like, look at this! It was incredible. I love that game. I think I played Cruising USA at Bush Gardens. Okay. Mexico. This was Cruising Blast. I think this is the new one. Okay. Well, they're good. They're still making them. Yeah. And then the Terminator game. That seems to be everywhere. Genesis? I don't remember. The one with the assault rifles? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because it's fucking terrible. They made a million of them thinking they were going to be good. Yeah, I play it every time because it's like... That and the cruising game was the only two they have at Busch Gardens, really. Huh. That and a bunch of claw machines. Yeah, I play Genesis at the hotel. It, like, put... Yeah, I know. And it's just like, I've been standing here shooting this this robot for like ten minutes and it hasn't died. Okay, so I'm not the only one. Well, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, it takes forever for them to But the on-rail game is like... 
you want to be accurate and kill a guy in one shot. Right. Time Crisis has enemies every once in a while that take multiple shots. Right. But you can also get out of the way. In the fucking Terminator game, they just stand there and, and slash at you. Okay, it so sucks. I'm not the only one who thinks it's super fucking hard. It's not hard. It's terrible. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's hard because it's terrible. <laughs> That's not a good thing. It's not terrible because it's hard. It's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also did the go-karts in Magical Midway, which was infinitely better than I thought it would be. Yeah, I saw a picture. I was going to ask if you guys did some go-kart racing. We did the one. We didn't do the other one because it was just a go-kart track. There's also a little kid go-kart track. We okay. did the one that was multi-leveled. Yeah, I want to do that so bad. That is so much fun. I will say that I got into it and I was just squished. Yeah. The guy was like, I was worried about my weight being an issue, not yeah. being able to put the belt on. I didn't realize my height was going to be the issue because ah. the steering wheel was... In between my legs. Right. <laughs> like like Mario Kart. Like Wario. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, you go you, you go up the track, and then there's a certain point where you're just driving, you can see down I drive, and it's so fucking rad. And part of the course is wooden, uh, like wooden timber, I guess. Yeah. It's not concrete. So you're like... <laughs> and it, at first, I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. And then I realized they were kind of slippery. And then uh, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool because it's just, just different. Yeah. Um, but you, you're going around, you get to the very top, and then it's like, it's a drop. Oh. And you go so fucking fast. Oh, the first man. time I hit my brakes. Yeah. And I slowed down. And then, like, once I learned, and then there's a pretty sharp turn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever designed this thing was an asshole. Oh. And go karts. Oh. And. I need to go spend all day here. Oh my god. It, you can. It was like 22 well, it was $22 for three hours of go-karts. Actually, three hours of rides. So there were go, there was three go-kart, two go-kart tracks and a kid's one, I think. Mm -hmm. Bumper cars. The swings. They can post that video. Yeah. It's, or you I saw like a 400 feet in the fucking air because you're stupid. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Um, the slingshot was not included. All right. Uh, there was, like, a, a merry-go-round and stuff like that for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, and then there were, uh, they called them bumper boats. They are fucking soaker boats. <laughs> ah. We got on with the dad and his two kids, and those two kids were relentless. <laughs> relentless. relentless. We got, as if we just got out of a pool. Because <laughs> it's... That's funny. You just, all it is is, like, you have one button that says go, yeah. and one button that says shoot. <laughs> and you're just spinning most of the time. Okay. And the gun, like, shoots up at an angle. Mm -hmm. But if you're far enough away, or close enough, I suppose, because it happened a lot, you just smash people in the face with this water stream. Uh, and it's pretty hard. That's awesome. <laughs> and there were points where these kids drove up to me and just... Psh, and it was like, all right, all right, kid. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you're, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was a blast, though. I cannot recommend that place enough. I loved it. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. I think, I mean, Fun Spot was like $60 or some shit to go. Mm-hmm. Because um, like, so I walked through Spawn, the Fun Spot. I think it was Fun Spot I went through. Can't walk through it anymore. You had to no. buy a ticket. Really? Yeah, I, I don't I don't even think you can get in the one in Old Town anymore. Or is that one closed? I don't remember. I'm talking out my ass now. I think it's the one in Old Town I, I walked around. You can walk through that one, but there's not much there. I yeah. mean, it's, it's just generic stuff, and there's a pretty good go-kart track. Um, shit, we didn't walk by that, because we went to Old Town. Yeah, I saw some pictures from that, too. Yeah, the magic show's finally open. Oh, I want to go so bad. We need to go one weekend, just go to Old Town and go to David Buster's. It would not even cost us that much. Because the magic show... It was like fifteen dollars. I, I wrote you. It was like fifteen dollars a person, ten dollars a person. And it's an hour long show. You go to different rooms. And this is an old town, by the way, in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, this is an hour long show. Some of the magicians were actually on Penn and Teller's Fool Us. You remember any other names? No, they didn't tell us. Huh? They just said you'll go into this room, this room, and that room. And there's a bunch of different rooms in this place. And you just every show, it's probably a bit different. Okay. I wonder if... I was also really into magic. Yeah. I know. That's why I instantly thought of you. And, like, 
they had a million of these like how to do certain magic tricks and if you buy three of them i think you get a free ticket and um you sent me that the picture of that and i zoomed in and the first one i saw i was like oh i have that right <laughs> which i was like oh that's funny there's no so around. many of them on that wall i have a couple of them yeah this seemed like because every time we go there there's a bunch of new stores yeah yeah, I was just talking about Old Town the other day, because we were <laughs> coming back, we were listening to music, and uh, uh, we, we were putting on uh, some reggaeton music, and me and Brooks were, I think me and Brooks were in Old Town for some reason. What the fuck were we doing? Yeah, what were you doing? <laughs> Why were me and Brooks in Old Town? Was it me and Brooks? <laughs> or was it me and Lance? I don't know. I guess I know there's one possible. There was one time that me and Lance went to... Yeah, it was me and Lance. Because we went to uh, Medieval Times. Okay. There was one day, Jess was just like, go to Medieval Times. And we were like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So this was not that long ago. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think we were walking around. We walked past uh, one of the bars in Old Town. And they were doing like a reggaeton night. Okay. I was like, buddy, I'm about to go in here. <laughs> like, you don't even know. But I, I didn't. It was packed. I couldn't have got in there anyway. The, the old Town, even the bars when we were there were pretty well full. It just seemed like probably regulars. Yeah. <laughs> they were actually building haunted houses. They had a bunch of what looked like shipping containers they were turning oh. into little haunted houses. That would make sense. And they had like a big whomping willow in the middle of the rides. That's cool. So, yeah, that'd be interesting. I took, took pictures. I'll have to show you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was and that was Magical Midway. And the whole time that I was riding on the go-karts, and I did this a couple times from by the guys that are kind of standing on the track. Yeah. I just go, I want you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I think my weight helped a lot with the... But after the first time going downhill, yeah. I just fucking floored it every time. <laughs> and it is like, I felt like I was losing control, but I never did. Oh, Those I'm, carts handled perfectly. I've, I've never go-kart raced before. I've never been in a what? go-kart. I've been in a go-kart, like, that, like, a friend had. driving. Down. No, I haven't done anything. So I need to yell for Jess right now. Jess! I mean, how old was I when I finally went to fucking... Medieval uh, times? Yeah. We, we almost went. <laughs> It was, I like, it was so much fun. <laughs> I love it. I, we went that... That was like two years ago, right? Yes. Yeah, it somehow. was long ago. <laughs> and since then, I've been like four more times. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> At least three times. Holy shit, I know one time other than that. We went. Yeah. That was the first time, Lance. right? That was yeah. my first time going, right? Yeah, and then you went with Lance. Yep. And then we went with Jess, had a broken leg. And then we went when she didn't have a broken leg, and Cece met us up there and brought us waters because it was so damn hot. So yeah, it's been four times. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. And we talk about it all the time. We're like, should we go to medieval times? <laughs> Has it been different at all? Uh, you get a different winner. Oh, sure. But okay. the story's still the same. Okay. But yeah, you, you always get a different winner. So they, they take skill. I don't think they lose on purpose all the time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, you're right. Cause you Some of those things can't be really be planned out. Yeah, you can't always get those rings on those lances. Even if you're in... And, and I'm sure they're incredible at it. Didn't they also joust? Right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Their phone number is 188 so unless, joust. <laughs> unless they, like, rigged the... That, I think that's rigged. But, I mean, unless they... Purposely pick somebody to win. Right, yeah. They might be legit jousting. No, I don't think the jousting is legit. No? You think they, they fake that? Yeah, I think the okay. lances are cut and all that. Because I really, I, from the looks of it, I thought only like the sword fighting was faked. No, I I think the, the that and the jousting, they're choreographed. And, okay. But I think the uh, like the horsemanship skills where they where they have like the yeah because that I mean you can't really fake that if the, you, fal the falconer yeah the falconer that's so good. <laughs> that's really rad oh I think, thing I can't recommend enough Lance needs to be a falconer and I've told him that before we I'm glad that 
I went with my dad and my stepmom to the pirate one years ago. I still want to go to that too. It's terrible. Yeah, I you're gonna hate go. it. I still want to go. <laughs> I want to go back to uh, the mafia one. I can't remember what it's called. Capones. Capones. Thank yeah. you. Because it's right. It's right down the street from medieval times. I think so. Yeah, it's not far. And I, I just like, I like musicals. That's pretty much what it is. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I, and I thought it had pretty good food. Um, the Pirates, like, the food was gross. Really? The show was okay. We all left pretty upset. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Which is why, like, even when we went to Medieval Times, I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. We're going because Brian wants to go, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, but that... My, I, dude, my expectations for that show were so low. And mine were so high. And mine were... Yeah, mine were blasted out of the water. I was so scared, too, because I've been waiting for 28 years. I think it was 28 when we went. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been two years ago. I was not looking forward to that, because I thought it was going to suck. I thought you were going to be <laughs> devastated. And I had so much hype. 28 years of hype. <laughs> you I, came out of the womb like, <laughs> medieval times. Yeah. So, <laughs> they were like, put them back. <laughs> <laughs> so, to show up, and yeah, I was blown away. Still am, even after the fourth time we went. We got to go. So, next time we go to Orlando, Dave and Buster's <laughs> Magic Show, Medieval Times. Yeah. My birthday's coming up. Yeah. Uh, is it in October? No, it's in November. Or not, oh, December, right? Middle of October. You had it right the first time. <laughs> October 16th. Oh, that's right. And the day Star Wars Rebels comes out. Oh, that's right. It's an easy way to remember it. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Lance is November and Jess is December. There we go. And then Kim is November as well. November 4th. This is the 14th, I believe. Okay. So, yeah, we all need to get together and go to Orlando. Stay in Tropical Palms. Yeah. Wes's birthday just passed, by the way. Yeah, the, the I 19th. I wrote him. I texted him that morning because I, I didn't need Facebook to tell me that one. You I just wrote him we're... recently because uh, I found an app. It's a Citadel's paint app. And it tells you where to apply certain types of paints to specific miniatures. I told him to download that one. Oh, I wrote him on Steam and asked him what is to do about this it. this one? Hold on, where's that? Give me a second. Okay. Because, well, how do you know uh, when his birthday is? Uh, it's Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> Jesus Christ, of course it was. <laughs> his birthday. Is it that, that. that Citadel paint app? Bottom row? Uh, the, the bottom row. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, for the first two or three... Two months, I think. Anyone who downloads this is entered to win, uh, like their entire catalog. Of oh, paints. you told me about this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I didn't download it. <laughs> I, I didn't. So I didn't win any paint, but. And so, when we were leaving Orlando, I think that was all the interesting things that happened in Orlando, other than just the incredible hotel. Yeah, I, thought uh, I had a nice place when I went to Orlando for, for work. What was funny was, like, it's a resort. Like, we had a suite. Yeah. And then, uh, so we checked out Friday. Hotels.com screwed us by overbooking the hotel. And we had to switch to another hotel. I got the best Lyft driver ever. And, dude, Uber was, like, $16. Lyft was 10 And they also gave me a $5 off coupon. Nice. So I went from that hotel... Probably about a 10 minute drive to the other hotel for five bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Super nice dude. Um, he actually recommended Lyft. He told me that uh, Uber has older cars and Lyft, you have to have newer cars. Like his, he was technically Uber or some shit like that, and he's just regular Lyft. So huh. if you do Lyft, you'll get nicer cars. So that's good to know. Um, Gave him a high rating and everything, but we get hell. We were just going to stay at for one night, and uh, I walk in the room, and I'm like, oh, it's a shithole. Oh, no, it's, it's shitty. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Then, I, like, I was, I was walking around, and I sat down, and I hooked up the Xbox, and it was just like, oh, wait, no. I'm comparing it to the fucking $300 suite we were just staying in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really fine. Yeah, even... Uh... When I stay, oh, I forgot where the, I stay in the Sheridan. 
Okay. It was a basic room, but it was super nice. Right, and that's what we wanted was like yeah. a basic room. We went out to the pool, and it was just the two of us. It was so nice. It was like, it was just perfect for that night because it was so nice outside, and we just swam for a while. And on the map, it shows, uh, it shows a hot tub, and we were like, we were walking around the pool, like where the hell is this thing? Couldn't find it anywhere. And uh, we go to get out of the pool. And Kim's like, what's that over there? And I was like, oh, that's the restaurant attached to the place. And she's right. like, why is there so much space in between the pool and it? I'm like, well, I don't know. She's like, well, there's a sign over there. I'm like, okay, well, let's walk down there. And we walk down there, and there's just this freaking hot tub in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. But on the map, it shows, like, pool, hot tub, next oh, to like the pool. Adjacent. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, there's no hot tub here. Well, that sucks. Yeah. And we're sitting in the hot tub for a while, and we hear just, and somebody is just tossing chunks. You can hear them hitting the ground. Ooh. Yeah, it sucked. So we were like, all right, we're leaving. Uh, we, we go to walk back to the room. The freaking hallway reeks of weed. Uh, and yeah, I called the front desk, and I was, I was not happy. They're like, all right, we're going to send someone down. I was like, all right, good. Yeah. Hopefully they took care of it. You know, told, do you want to say what place this was? Yeah, I forgot what it was. Clarion. Okay. It's a nice hotel. Is that a, it's on I Drive, right? Yes. It's on I, I Hawaiian it Court. I think I know exactly where that is. Um, it was it was fine. The hotel was great. It was just I think there's a lot of displaced people right now because of the hurricane and whatnot. That's true. Because there were definitely seemed like some kind of long term people there. Okay. Uh, so that that was unfortunate, but it was fine. Like the room was nice. The Wi-Fi was actually better than the resort. Wait, the I resort, think I stayed there. The resort, you can only have two items. Really? You can stay there. It's a cross from Chocolate Kingdom. Oh, uh, then no, because I, I still don't know what Chocolate Kingdom is. I, it looked <laughs> I like it. look it up. It looks scary. <laughs> it looks scary? I think the K and the I were knocked off. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not good for Orlando, because places like that typically really try to keep upkeep stuff like care. Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> um... And then we went to IHOP, right. and so I don't think I've talked about this on the podcast before, but, you know, I grew up with my family owning a restaurant. I managed the restaurant, and towards some of the end of its years, I worked at Steak and Shake in Tampa on, um, uh, God, what is that? Mounds? No. Right next to the freaking highway. No, next to the, the stadium. Raymond James. I don't know. I'm just saying things. Oh my god! I was on Dale Mabry across from a high school, and twice we had kids run out on the on the bill. Mm-hmm. And this is what I was saying earlier. The girl at Taco Bell. They would. I don't think it would have come out of her paycheck unless Taco Bell's that shitty of a company, uh, which they, they might be. They can be. I had kids run out on me twice. The first time, they came back a week later, <laughs> and I told my manager, and I was like, no. <laughs> Wait, Those oh, are the kids. Real quick, you were in Orlando, not Kissimmee, right? Maybe. <laughs> Chocolate Kingdom has in Orlando has four point two stars. Okay. Chocolate Kingdom in Kissimmee has four point four. That yeah, we must have been in Orlando because it was International Drive. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, it is sorry. probably Hawaiian Court. I'm just. It's a chocolate museum. Okay. And yeah, we should have gone factory tour. Birthdays, chocolate experiences. I'd like to have a chocolate experience. <laughs> and maybe we'll have to check that out next time. What? Oh, that just sounded funny. <laughs> you want a chocolate experience? Oh boy, we can get you one of those. <laughs> um, um, okay, but yeah, we went to IHOP and we're sitting there next to this group of kids, and there's a group of kids at the table next to us, and there's a group of kids at the uh, at the. What is it? The the booth. Wow, I can't think today. And uh, so they get their bill, and they look at it, and they go, Oh, dang, oh, my God. And they're all freaking out. Instantly, a bunch of them leave. <laughs> so it was like, oh, that's not good. And Kim's like, I got to go to the bathroom. She gets up, and she, she like, pulls. <laughs> no way. <laughs> she- <laughs> it's free breakfast day. <laughs> no. She grabs our waitress and tells her. Mm-hmm. And the waitress is like, thank you. So a bunch more of them get up to leave. 
And the waitress runs over and grabs a pile of money on the table and counts and says, this is not enough. She goes and she grabs the kids, remaining kids in the parking lot, mm -hmm. brings them back, and walks over to the lone girl left in the booth, just sitting there on the phone. And she goes... <laughs> she didn't realize everyone left. She didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the worst part. She walks over to this girl and she's like, you need to call your friends and get them back here. They left, you know, so much money out of, it was like, they owed like a hundred something dollars. I think you told me like 140. Yeah, something like that. And they only left like 40. And we are calling the police. And this girl was just sitting there like a deer in the headlights. Just, uh, you what? <laughs> I felt so sorry for her. One person came back. Damn. And they managed to get the bill paid. So I hope a bunch of those kids got the shit kicked out of them. You'd hope so. The police? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, it was very unfortunate that it happened, and <laughs> they screwed up our bill. <laughs> it was like, what the hell? Trying try to get uh, you to pay for what they didn't pay for. <laughs> yeah, something. Trying to even it out. So, yeah, that was that was our trip to Orlando. And then on the way home, we stopped by the Russell Stover factory. That was what we got, Jess, was a bunch of Russell Stover chocolates. Oh, uh, wild one? Yeah, you ever been there? Oh, yeah, just recently, too. My okay. Boss, my so, boss brought me there. Like last year around Christmas time, have you seen like the <clears throat> renovations? What renovation? It's like a cafe now. Like it's super nice inside. Oh, it was super nice when I went. Okay, I, mean, I don't like, know how long it's been like this. Nice. Well, it was like you know dark wood and a yeah. big glass case with chocolates in it, and, mm -hmm. and the and ice cream. Yeah, yes, and there's like the warehouse part with the outdated chocolate. Yeah. That's where we bought most of it. Oh yeah, <laughs> most of it's just as good. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. it's overstock too. I don't know if you, right. Yeah, so it's. And Kim was checking. She was like, some of it was was uh, sugar free that we got, and then but she was like, you know, look at the packaging. Some of them are way out of date. Some yeah. of them are not. Like, like, did I'm, you get a free sample when you walked in? They were giving away um, something I didn't like, like yeah. a peanut one. We got a free sample of something, then we got some from, uh, the outdated stuff. Yeah, it was bad. Like, we got some bad stuff. Oh, uh, that sucks. It was not what they handed us at we, the door. We've eaten some of ours, and it's fun. Yeah, everything else I've ever gotten from back there has been great. I mean, I, that was the only time I've ever had a problem with it. I guess sugar-free butterscotch. I don't, I'm not a big fan of butterscotch. You like butter beer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Christ. I don't like, I don't like uh, onions, but I love onion rings. I hate onion rings. I like Funyuns. Well, yeah, Funyuns are, <laughs> that's a whole, we're nerds, we have to. Yeah, that's true. We have to like Funyuns and Mountain Dew. <laughs> we live on Funyuns and Mountain Dew. Yeah, so that was my Orlando trip. Good. Interesting weekends. Oh, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings again. Beat up. Fucking fantastic. Yeah. Kim's obsessed with that place now. Yep, beat up. It was, it's across the street from Magical Midway. The one on I Drive. Actually, there's two on I Drive. That's a bad. I was going to say the one. Yeah, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Then we had to go to Walgreens, which is where I ended up buying the fucking Destiny 2 Hunter. No, Destiny 1 Hunter. You're you just... Brian let me know there were Destiny figures at Walgreens. Not in any of our Walgreens from what I could find. The one up here. Okay, that's the one I haven't been to. But since we're in Orlando, every time we drove by Walgreens, I was like, hey, we gotta go look. Oh. <laughs> Actually, funny not... story about Walgreens. Okay. Just a quick story. Uh, last weekend... Must have been last weekend. Why was I in Inverness? I don't remember why. Anyways, it was real late, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna go to. The, this is downtown Inverness. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the Walgreens next to Taco Bell, mm -hmm. and then get into Taco Bell because it's quicker that way. Right. That is not a Walgreens next to Taco Bell. That's a CVS. Oh yeah, it is a CVS. I walked right in there and went. Where's the toys? Yeah. Walked around. I can't find the toys anywhere. Oh, it's a CVS. <laughs> <laughs> and I, just, I just found a CVS gift card in my wallet. Nice. Because I got a new wallet over the weekend. I've had the same one for... And you now you got a Pokemon years. one. Yeah. You got a cool Pokemon wallet. Nerd. I, I had to get rid of my Iron Man wallet. I'm kidding. I have a Green Lantern wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, I had a Green Lantern wallet that I made myself. And my then a Lincoln Park wallet. Nice. Yeah. I bought the Green Lantern wall for my birthday last year. It was like my birthday present to myself. Mm -hmm. Then my mom bought me, I still have it, my mom bought me a super nice fancy leather one 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, but I just, just got this one. And she's like, yeah, but the one I got you is nicer. And I was like, so, to you? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's not Green Lantern. Yeah. It's not going to protect me with hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just thought that was funny that I, I tried to go to all to see this. Yeah. 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 So I think that was everything that happened in my weekend. Yeah, mine too. I then I came here. Yeah. I didn't do <laughs> anything today. This. I didn't do anything today either. I've got some Harry Potter stuff I need to work on. I played Far Cry. That's it. I decorated the house. Yeah, you did. I don't like that spider. <laughs> I thought it was a real spider earlier. You got like a spider on the mirror. There's a couple little spiders throughout the house. Yeah, I don't like it. Now Jess is bringing the cat out here. What's the cat doing? Being a cat. Being a cat. She wants to snuggle, but I don't okay. want to snuggle her because I'm going to bed. You want her, Jacob? She's I want her. Run from you because she hates you. No. Hold her like a baby. She likes the it. outro, right, Luna? We need to get a. By the way, when we do the Harry Potter party, she's trying to get away. She doesn't like you. She hates your guts. <laughs> Luna, Luna, Luna. <laughs> Jess wasn't listening to you. No, she just walked does. away. I was going to say, we need to get a picture of the cat. I bought a rat that I'm going to paint up like scabbers. And we have a stuffed headwig. We need a picture of the three of them together. The cat's punching me. And she does that. <laughs> Not clawing, she's just punching. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Future Villains Podcast. Thank you for listening. Firegrass slash... Wesley Chapel slash... Tampa slash... Slash... Tampa slash <laughs> Freaking slash Wizarding World. It's in multiple places at once. Yeah. <laughs> Though so was Orlando. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Constantly on the map, it's like, you're in Buena Vista, you're in this, you're in that, you're in this. And then at some point it was like, Brian Peacock is in Buena Vista. <laughs> and it was like... <laughs> that was pretty funny. What? <laughs> you were or you weren't? I was, yeah. In Buena Vista? Um, Technically, probably. Okay. Because I knew I was... Going, because I, I was working, and I had to go to Claremont. Right. And Claremont must be near Buena Vista. I don't know. Yeah. When slash you Celebration, me. slash Buena Vista, slash whatever. Yep. I, I have another job coming up at Celebration, if they ever call me back. See? Yeah, I, I saw that too, and I was like, what? And then I went into a racetrack, uh, had to get gas, because it's forever far away. And um, someone I went to high school with, sitting right there, and then I'm pretty sure this other guy I went to high school with comes walking in working for FedEx. And I was like, what? It's like a Christopher River High School reunion in here. Right in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, but this has been the Future Villains Podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Haunter. You can find me on YouTube at Best of the Realm, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm, on Twitter I'm at Best of the Realm. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, on Instagram where I just posted a underscore in underscore the underscore realm. Which I you gotta, gotta fix change. that. <laughs> God, I gotta see if I can change that. Um, you can f and, and then where can they find you? I'm on Twitter at Brightman25 now and then. Or mostly Instagram, Brian1138. I know you can get your Instagram to post on your Twitter. Yeah, I need to set that up. Yeah. I need to set it up so it goes to my Facebook, too. Or you can find all of our content on FewTrueVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. So thank you for listening, guys. And if you're on YouTube and a like, subscribe to us on iTunes. Uh, let us know how you like the show. Let us know if you have any things that you want us to talk about, any topics, just whatever. Uh, thank you for listening. Let's stop before I start to stop rambling. <laughs>